Today on my craft table, I'm working with Derwin Ink Tense Blocks. You can see here, I purchased the 36 count, comes in this nice tin. The color strips on the side do not come as a part of the box. I actually created that and there's information on the blog post about that. But they come inside these nice flexible little foam padding uh, inside. I will tell you that you can see a few of my blocks are broken, but can guarantee doesn't change how they color. Here I have some Canson mixed media paper and a water brush and I'm going to load up my brush with that blue and this lagoon color is absolutely gorgeous. Next I'm going to do the exact same just to give you guys some color swatches with the green. This is such a bright emerald green. Oh my goodness I'm in love with this. Just so you know that these colors are permanent when they dry so you can actually mix colors that would otherwise cause mud. Next, you're getting ready to see sunshine on a page. Ink tints is so bright, so vivid, and this is what I love about these products by Derwin. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make a very thin paint or watercolor that you can utilize. This is my makeshift palette. It's just heavyweight cardstock tucked inside a sheet protector. Because I use white paper, I get really bright true colors. And then the sheet protector, I can just wipe off when I'm done and use it for the next time around. I'm going to load up my water brush with that yellow. And you'll see as that water mixes with that ink tint, you get this nice puddle of color. That is so lemony yellow. Next, I'm going to blow your socks off. This orange is so luscious, so bright, so amazing. Look at that brightness. And the very last color I'm going to use is going to be the black. And it's not the blackest black of the bunch, but it gives you a really good idea for the colors you can get. Thanks so much for taking the time to check out my little video on these ink tense blocks.